Okay, in this video, I want to show you how to uh, plot something in Python. For example, how to plot a function in Python. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And so what we want to do first is we want to import the libraries we're going to use, okay? So if we're dealing with numbers and math, uh, one of the, the typical ones is to import NumPy uh, as NP is kind of common notation. And uh, we want to import the plotting library into Python. And this is import mat plotlib.pyplot, okay? So this is the function that we're gonna call uh, to plot things. And to call this library, we'll just use uh, plt. It's kind of the common notation, okay? So these are the, the, the two you need um, for this example. Uh, you know, if your function calls other things, you might need other things. Um, but, but the first step is to define the function you wanna plot, okay? So in this case, we have a function that we need to get a list of data points for. Um, so uh, let's say you have a parabola that you want to plot. So let's define, and then you have to call your function. And so we'll call it um, f, it's like a classic, you know, f of x. But uh, this, in parentheses, this x will be our variable, and then we can also have arguments, okay? So in a parabola, we can have um, ax squared plus bx plus c, okay? So let's do some uh, constants a, b, and c. Um, and then you'll see this is indented. And then we need to define what to return from this function, okay? So um, we'll do a times x squared plus b times x plus c, okay? So this is just a simple parabola and uh, it'll, everything defined within these parentheses will be defined locally in this definition, okay? So it doesesn't matter what I put here. I could put uh, h as long as this is the value h that you want. Um, when you input it here, it'll put it into this return. Okay, uh, so I'll, I'll explain this in a second. Um, but the idea is this is how we set up a function. Okay, so now to plot something, you need a list of data points. You need a X values and Y values. Okay, so let's make an X list. Um, an easy way to do this is with a NumPy function. So we'll call NumPy. Um, and you can use linspace. So this is a linear space. Uh, so it'll make a linear spaced list between the start point stop point and then you can put your number of points and then uh you know all all sorts of other things you can of course add so we'll say we'll start at minus 10 we'll go to 10 and we'll put um let's say you want a thousand data points okay so we can evaluate this and what you see here in your variable explorer is going to be um a list that pops up x list and it's from minus 10 all the way to 10 and it's a uh, thousand points okay so this is the size there are, of course, many ways to make lists. Um, another example is you could do x list equals np a range, and this will let you do a, um, a, a starting point and a stop point and a spacing, okay? So you can go minus 10 to 10 with a spacing of 0.1, for example. Um, and so if you look at this, now you're, so if, if I have this defined after this, you know, this function is gonna overwrite it, or you could just comment it out with a parentheses. Um, you see now we have a list from minus 10 and the spacing is 0.1 uh but you know one thing with a range is at the end uh it doesn't include the last point okay so 9.9 .9. so what you need to do is is you know add an extra spacing to the end so you make this 10.1 and now you see your list goes uh from minus 10 to 10 um so it's not inclusive of the last point which is 10.1 okay so it doesn't matter what you use um you know you, you can get this several different ways so this is our X values, and now we have our Y values. So our Y list is just gonna be the function evaluated um, at X list. And then we have the parameters A, B, and C. So we can say A is three, B is one, and C is four, okay? And that's it. Look, now you have an X list, you pass this X list into the function, and you have a Y list. And so this is our values. So we have a, an X, Y data set, um, there's another video where you can show how to plot an XY data set. Um, this is uh, where that video would start. You already have your experimental data set, for example. Here, you need to generate you know, your, your, your list of, of points, okay? But after you have a list of points, the plotting is all the same. Um, so we can use uh, matplotlib, okay? And so the, the easiest thing to do is just to define your figure first. So you, you call this PLT library, and we'll say figure, and um, we need to define the number equals zero. You can 
can always start your counting at zero. If you have several figures, you can do zero, one, two. Python starts at zero, so it's a good practice to start that. But you can call it whatever number you want. Um, and personally, I like to say uh, the DPI for the figure is, excuse me, DPI equals 120, just so you have some good resolution. And to actually plot it, you do plt.plot, and then you give it your X list, and you give it your Y list, and that is it run this function and we're using spider. And so you've got this plots tab down here. Here's your plot. So all you have to do is generate an X list, generate a Y list and pass it to the plot function and you get your plot. You can right click, you can save this, you can do whatever. Um, so, so this is um, very basic plotting. Now what I'll show you is we can um, make this a little more uh, interesting by, by adding some defining features into uh, the plot. Okay, so uh, for example, <clears throat> let's say you want to add a plot title. Uh, we can add a title and we'll just say plotting example. And if it's in quotation marks, this is a string. And so if you run this, you can get you know a title on your plot. Um, you can also add an X label. Um, so your X label, we can say, imagine this is a pendulum swinging, okay? This is a, an example parabola. So you can say X is distance in units of uh, you know feet. And we can add a Y label, which is the same thing. You do PLT dot Y label. And we can say this is the uh, height oh, in feet. Okay, so now you can have X and Y labels, which pop, pop up. Um, some other useful ones is you can add a, uh, a label to this. Okay, let's say you wanted to add another plot. Okay, so... If you've got this defined, you can add as many data sets as you want to this figure. So let's say, for example, that you want to add another data set. And let's say, uh, so you don't define a new figure, you just call the plot function again, and we'll say X list and uh, Y list to the, uh, the square root, one half power. Okay, so this is X list and then uh, the parabola and then the square root of the parabola. And so we can, we can plot this here. And you see now we have two plots. Uh, or two data sets on this plot. Um, when you have two things, it's very useful to put a label. So you can add another marker. We'll say label equals, um, and then this would be f of x. And for the second one, we say label equals, and this is f of x to the one half, right? So, so now we need to add a legend and uh, boom, now you have a nice label. And of course, there's so many different things you can do to control where this goes. Another useful feature for making a, a plot like this is to, um, to make this a, a subscript or a superscript. So for example, if you don't want to write this, um, you know, uh, two asterisk marks, you can use what's called math text. Okay, and so for math text, um, I'll pull up the uh, browser here. You can go to matplotlib. I'll put the link in the in the description. This is called uh, uh, math text. It's, it's writing mathematical expressions. So you can use instead of saying alpha, you can use you know Greek notation. You can do fractions. You can add superscripts and subscripts and special fonts. Um, so you can have all these different things. I mean, all the details are in here. Um, and so how you would do that is, uh, for example, you call uh, before the um, quotation marks, you put an R. <clears throat> this means it's a raw string. So it's going to take every um, marker as its, or, or every uh, character as its raw value. And then you can add these special notations. So for example, um, we want to start doing the math text here. So I'll add a dollar sign to start the math text. And then I'll say um, a carrot will make this you know, go raised up to a certain power. And we'll say 0.5, and then I'll end the dollar sign here. This will say everything within this, use math text so we can put it to a superscript. And for example, this is what you see. I run this and now you get f of x to the 0.5, the square root of the function. Um, and of course, if you wanna make this one half, you can also make this um, a fraction, just go to your, just go to that web page, and you can see how to, how to call everything. Um, so these are kind of the basics. You can also modify the uh, how the plot looks. So say you want this um, square root function to be dashed. You know, after you put your Y list in, 
you can add uh, special commands to control what the uh, plot looks like. So here I'll add a double line and you'll see now it's dashed. You could call specific colors. For example, a uh, double line in G would be dashed green. Um, so that's generally it. Now there's, this is kind of the basics of what I would use plotting functions for, uh, you know, to start off with, but um, don't take this video as, you know, the gospel, take a look at the, um, here's matplotlib website. This is everything. If you ever want to know more about a function, for example, linspace, a range, matplotlib, you know, Google it and you're going to find the, uh, the function with detailed descriptions on how to use all of it. If you type, um, you know, matplotlib.pyplot into Google, you can pull up this pyplot function specifically. And it's going to tell you, look, it tells you this is all you need, an X list, a Y list, and then you call your X and Y values. That's all you need to do to plot. And um, so this, I mean, these are the four, five lines you need to plot a function. You know, we've added a little more to make it interesting. But these are all the different, uh, you know, functions you can call into your matplotlib, okay? So, um, so for example, we're, we're using plot. So I'll look at this. And this will tell you matplotlib, pyplot, and then plot, and then we call plot. And so this will tell you all the arguments which can uh, be called, how you can control the formatting of the curves and adding labels and, and different, uh, you can add markers instead of lines, line styles, and there's tons of examples. So anyway, all the resources are out there. Um, and um, another thing I should note is that your function here, just to be very clear about this function you're calling, um, you don't have to, so, so here we put the ABC inside, but you can also say, you know, A equals three and B equals one and C equals four, okay? And then you can call, uh, pass those A, B, and C values to the function. And that's another way you can do it. So if you quickly wanna change your A, you can do that. And you know, it'll shift your curve. Um, <clears throat> but just know that whatever you're doing with these values, it's totally fine to call A, B, and C here and pass A, B, and C here. It's gonna pass these values that are defined. Um, but if you define them here, they're gonna be defined for the rest of this script, um, but they have no bearing on functions, okay? So if, for example, if I define another function uh, below this and I, I use, you know, function two, and I also pass an A, B, and C, it's not gonna pass these values to the, the function. When you're doing a definition, the definition um, is all inclusive of what's within the indentation, okay? So whatever you're putting inside the parentheses when you define a function, these are just referring to the different um, notation of what's inside. So for example, you could make this a naught and a naught, but it's just referring to this. It doesn't refer to parameters outside of the function, okay? So it won't refer to parameters outside of the function until you actually um, type it outside the function like this. Now when it's outside of a definition, now it's actually gonna call the, the definition of these, okay? So don't be confused about how we define these functions. Um, these parameters are only defined locally. So you can also define them below and it won't affect this. Or you don't have to use ABC. You can use any notation you want as long as the position that you want it to pass the value to is, is, uh, is clear in the return. Okay, so that's it for plotting. Again, this is way more than you need to do. Do you need to add labels? Do you need to add titles? Do you need to add uh, legends and, and special formatting? No, probably not. Um, but if you want to, this is how you do it. Okay.